next step, we're going to put our shims in. And if you took a picture like I asked you to, then you have an easy reference. If you didn't, I'll tell you right now. So, um, one goes up here. And you know, here, let me give you a little tip too. If you get in real close, you can see that this hole here is not as big as this hole. So if you're in a bind and you didn't take a picture and, and you're tired of listening to me or don't want to watch the video anymore, that's how you tell. You'll see there's a little bit of a gap. So you could slide those in. But if not, just rewind this video or go back to this video and check it out. So there's our shims. Let's put our head on. All right, so now when we put our head in, we want to work our gasket on there. And the gasket is pretty easy to tell. This is the metal gasket that comes in your kit, and that's pretty easy to tell the side that you want. The way you want it to go is you're going to have a big opening and then a little tiny groove right there. That's going to go on this side. So we're going to go ahead and slide that on, pull our chain up through it, and take our time. And again, this is the metal gasket that came with your kit. The one that we put in between the jug and the engine, that was just a typical gasket. Now we're ready to put the head on, so we're going we're gonna to take the big studs that we put on there at the bench. Those are going to face upwards. We have our spacers in there. We're going to slide our chain through and work it in, take our time. Make sure that chain doesn't drop down in there. We have our gasket. Everything's kosher. We're going to make sure that that butts up real good against those spacers, and they do. So at this point, what we can do is we can take these two long bolts that we pulled out of the side right over here, and we can install those and just snug them down. And what that'll do is that's going to hold everything in place. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my ratchet. You know, on these ones, they don't need to go all the way in super hard. What I want to do is just give them a quick little snug. They're going to hold everything in place for us for just a moment. And we'll call that good. Now, this is important, and take your time on this. We want to make sure that those holes line up as we talked about before. So, if this ratchet was the side of that cylinder head, that's how we want it lined up. What those two dots lined up like so. So we need to put it in that exact position. Uh, I don't think I can emphasize that enough. If you do a big bore kit and it doesn't start, this might be the first thing you check. So, I think that I got lucky and nailed it on the first try. So, I'm just going to pretend like I do that every time. At this point, we can put our spacers in. So we have a spacer and a spacer. We can put our rocker assembly on. We're going to make sure this guy's lined up nice. Um, there's not notches or anything that hold it on that one, but there is on this rocker assembly. So, when we put that on, it should give us not much of a choice. You have to kind of hold these rockers up so it doesn't bind it all up. There we go. You know, and then you want to kind of wiggle your sprocket and cam, make sure that it's seated properly, and in this case it is. And we can take our bolts and washers, I'm sorry, our nuts and our washers, and put them in. So we have a washer for each one. We 
a nut for each one. Oops. Dropped one there. Okay, when we initially snug this up, be very gentle. We're not ready to torque it yet. We just kind of want to get it snug down in there so we can torque it. So you're going to do it in a star pattern. So we're going to do this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we're going to do it in a star pattern. But I'm not torquing it down yet or anything like that. All I want to do right now is get it tight enough where I can use my torque wrench and get them to spec. Alright, so I'm going to get one last little... But make, I always go in star patterns on these. The reason being is that you have two gaskets all in this set here. And if you just crank down on one side and then the other, it's going to warp that gasket. So let's get a torque wrench. Get to work. All right, guys, I'm bringing you back up here so you can see. Um, this manufacturer recommends that this bore kit is at 13 foot pound torque. So um, that's. Everyone I've seen so far, but you know, I recommend doing your research, but I always see them at 13. But I'm going to do it in small increments. And I always take my time because this is not really something you want to over torque or under torque. So. So if you don't have a torque wrench, you can get one at a place like Harbor Freight for very cheap. It's well worth it. Um, I don't recommend taking a chance and just snugging it where you think it should be. Um, you know, go hit up Harbor Freight or Walmart or whatever. Get yourself a cheap torque wrench and, uh, and keep wrenching.